Hi friends. Yesterday your job was to draw our caterpillars. Did you draw them? Here we have our five caterpillars. And I don't know if you can tell, but they sure have grown even from yesterday. So here, this guy, this guy's sitting up here. Let me change my hands. And you see, he's almost the size of the penny now. Look at that. He fills up the penny. Remember we had the small? Well, here's the medium. Here's our quarter. Let's put our quarter up. He's about half the quarter already. So they have grown even from yesterday. Look at that. Now he is the same size, almost the same size as our penny. He just has to grow a little bit more and he'll be the same size as our penny. And you can see he's quite hairy, he's spiky. He's got the yellow on the back. Let's see, can we find, there we go. Can you see this guy? He's got got yellow kind of stripes. Can you see the stripes now? Yesterday they were still small enough you couldn't really see the stripes but now you can see that they have yellow stripes and yellow spots. Yeah, this guy's moving. He's saying hi. They make a lot of webs now so sometimes it's hard to focus the camera to get a good angle because the more webs they make the harder it is to focus the camera. But their job now is to what? You know what they have to do? Eat, right? They have to eat and eat and eat. That's what that guy's doing over there. He's eating, 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 eating. Let's see if we can get it here. Yeah, see, it's hard to see because He's got his web in there. <laughs> but they are eating, eating machines. And you can tell because boy, are they growing. They are growing a lot. There we go. And you see how he moves his body to crawl? He's trying to get through that web and he's trying to find some food. The other guy's like, uh-uh, you're not getting through my web. There's our caterpillars. They sure have grown. So let's go over here. How did our caterpillar start out at? Remember what this is? What is this called? This is an egg, right? They started off as an egg. And then what did they do? They came out of the egg, right? They hatched. When they come out of the egg, what do they have to do? What's their main job? What are they doing there? They have to eat, right? Look, you can see there's an egg. And there's the caterpillar that just came out of the egg. He's tiny. And then there's this guy. He's bigger because he's been eating. And this guy is even bigger because he's been eating. And we can see how ours have grown just in a few days because they have been eating, eating, eating. You can tell. Look at the difference between this caterpillar and this caterpillar. He's bigger because he's been eating. And then one of your jobs was to find out a couple days ago when the caterpillar hangs upside down. Now that he's nice and fat and big and he's eating lots of food, he hangs upside down to do what? What is he going to do? Once he hangs upside down, he, he makes a cocoon. So underneath his skin, he's changing. And he's making a hard cocoon. And then once the cocoon is hard, the skin comes off. He pushes it up to the top and he moves all around so the skin falls off and he has the cocoon. And he stays in the cocoon 
and then he changes into a butterfly. And once he's changed into a butterfly, see how you can see his wings, the cocoon becomes clear and soft so that the butterfly can open up the cocoon and come out. And he has to hang upside down like this so that his wings dry so that he can fly. Because if he doesn't hang upside down and let him dry like that, he's not gonna be able to fly. So here are some pictures that I took today. And you can see that the butterfly, or the butterfly, the caterpillar is almost the same size as the penny. I put the penny up to the jar so you could see, but I took some of these pictures too because sometimes it's hard to see and they don't cooperate. So here was yesterday. You could see he still had all this room left to grow. And this is today. He's only got that little bit of space left. So that's just from yesterday to today, how much he's grown. And I'm gonna show another one. This is when he, they first came. Look at how tiny they were. And this was yesterday and you still had this space. And then this was today. You just got that little bit of space left. So you can see using that penny, how much they've grown. They're getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Think about it. This was just a couple of days ago. That was, that was just a couple days ago. This is day, that was three days ago. So here's the pictures that I took today. Using the small penny, you can see he is almost the same size. And now I have our medium quarter. And he's about half the quarter. So we're gonna use the quarter now to measure him. And then we'll wait and see how many days do you think it'll be until he's as big as a quarter? Hmm? What do you think? They're growing. They're growing quite, quite fast. They're definitely hairy, spiky. They're eating lots and lots of food. They're making their webs. You can now see that they have yellow stripes and yellow dots. But they still have a lot to grow. But that's what they're busy doing. They're busy eating because that's their job. Their job is to eat and eat and eat so that they can make that cocoon and change into butterflies. That's what they're busy doing. So let's see, do you know when they turn into a butterfly, that a butterfly is an insect? Now parents, this is just kind of for you with this very technical vocab. For the children we call an insect, it has three parts of their body and they have six legs. So some pictures are gonna show you different, different viewpoints. So for this bee, for this picture, it makes it really easy to see he has one, two, three parts of his body. But you can't see that he has six legs here. Here you can see that he has six legs, we can count them, but you can't really see the three parts of the body very well. So some pictures are gonna be better than others and you might have to look at a few different ones to find pictures of what is, of what you're looking for, for your three parts of your body or for your six legs. In some pictures, you're not going to see that no matter what. So here you have a grasshopper. And, you know, here they have, oh yes, here's your three different body parts. But a child's not going to notice that. So you're just going to focus on it's green, it's spiky, it's long. He has six feet. Here are his antenna. And here you're going to also, okay, look, he has stripes. He's very furry. Look at his wings. He's black. He's yellow. So you just work on using your describing words and what they have in that picture. So your activities, you're gonna search and you're gonna see what makes an insect an insect. Look up different insects and see what do they have in common and how are they different? How many legs do they have? How many body parts? Do they all have wings? Do they all eat the same things? Do they all change like the caterpillars do? What do you think makes an insect an insect? And make a list of what you find. And then tomorrow, we're gonna check 
and see how much more these caterpillars have grown. Okay? I hope everyone's having a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow.